guys, I'm Rosa Kim from the Cal TV Show, and today I'm here with two awesome, awesome people. Ladies and gentlemen, the director and the actor of the upcoming movie Easter Promises, David Cronenberg and Vigo Mortensen. Hello. Do you really know which one of us is which? Yes, I do. You do? Okay, yes, that's a start. I've that's done good. my research. Very good, very good. Very good. <laughs> well, um, this is your second movie together. So I was wondering if there was a certain kind of compatibility or chemistry you guys have that make working together enjoyable? Not really. Nobody no. else will work We have us. no. We have, <laughs> it, we're forced together because we can't get work separately, so we've actually been f forced into this very uneasy alliance. But we actually did shoot another, a third movie. The first one we shot, we haven't shown to anybody. That didn't work very well. Yeah. But these, the last two are pretty good. That was basically a kind of home video thing, though, yeah. so we don't really want to talk about that. Very in intimate. Yeah. Well, this wasn't the answer I was expecting, but that was good enough. That was very funny. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, because um, I was watching a couple of interviews with you guys, and you guys were saying how you guys um, really are compatible with each other, but yeah. I wanted to know yeah. why. Well, that was it, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of a lie, actually. <laughs> we, we really don't get along. Uh, oh, that's we come from very shame. different backgrounds, and, and there's a lot of animosity that's been built up over the two movies. Um, basically, wow. you know, we don't like each other. So, but you know. out of this animosity, a wonderful film got made. So, well, yeah. sometimes that, that sometimes. magic happens, you know. <laughs> so, um, if you guys had another chance, then what kind of movie would you guys make? Oh, like, what would be, be the idea? No more. more. No more. <laughs> well, as long as it was with another actor, I'd be happy to do it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Glad I to hear Vigo it. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, Vigo will work with anyone. You know, oh, he's okay. basically a kind of a movie <laughs> slut. And he will work with anyone. And I, I, re, I quite resent that. I, I take it personally that he will work with other people who are, you know, more frankly, secure frankly, about yeah. themselves as Frankly, people. not as good as I am. And I, I think it's, you know, it diminishes our, our accomplishes, uh, accomplishments that we've, you know, I thought the movies were good and then I saw what he did with other people and I realized that it's, you know. Well. I could have tried harder. He could have done better. Really. He I'm does better with other <laughs> you know, you get what you deserve. He doesn't really give me very much, frankly. He kind of. Oh. I meet people at their level. That's. He kind of. Oh you know, he kind of just cruises through it with wow, no, with wow, no wow. effort. Wow! 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 It's pretty it's, much. Well. It's kind of heartbreaking for me, frankly. I can imagine. Yeah. This is, yeah. Well, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> So, uh, I was wondering what you did to get into character, because I saw this uh, interview with you for Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. and you, you said you used to carry around Aragorn's sword everywhere. Wait a minute, like... you thought he got into character for this movie? <laughs> oh, is that not true? Well, well I, I don't mean, think he's one Russian. One of my efforts was to try to get him into character, you know, and I... Did you help him Well, I did. Way? I gave him a sword. And it didn't work, you know. He yeah. said this guy wouldn't carry a sword. I was pretty upset by that, you know. And I gave him like he, he shaved off his beard and all of the neat stuff that he the did. Horse. In Lord of, I was hoping that he would basically replicate what he did in Lord of the Rings with his character. Wow. And for some reason, he thought the hair should be up instead of down. You know, it was a mess. It was a nightmare. I didn't get anything that I wanted, and uh, except the you know, the, the movie has suffered for it, frankly. Oh no, I don't think so. I think it was a great movie, but I see. Read <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I we don't you. we don't know her. I mean, it's true. I took a DNA sample. What other wow. movies? <laughs> but what other what? movies do you like? Me? Yeah. Oh, I like all. I'm open to all sorts of movies. Happy yeah. Gilmore. I haven't watched that yet. Strongly recommend. Okay, it. Happy Gilmore. I'll watch Happy Gilmore. <laughs> yeah, because it's basically on a parallel with our movie. So, oh, you know, a Russian. You, I hope you player. got a lot of laughs because our movie is, as you know, a, a kind of a comedy. So, <laughs> indeed, it is a comedy. <laughs> Actually, it was very. I mean, it was dark, but it was. It hit me right here. Oh, well, that's, it was a good movie. You know, that's one. <laughs> no, no, no. Out of millions, you know, we got one. You look hard enough, you'll find someone who likes your work, David. Yeah. That's <laughs> always true. Oh, wow. This animosity, I can feel the can't tension. You? I can, you can feel the tension. <laughs> so, um, since we are from UC Berkeley, and UC Berkeley is known for their free speech movement, right now we will give you the opportunity to say whatever you want. Anything that you want to get there off you your go. chest. Give me your hand. That's my statement. Okay, well, can you say one more thing? 
One more thing. <laughs> Can you say awesome possum? Awesome possum? Yes. Awesome possum. <laughs> awesome possum. Thanks everyone for and joining us. You oh, did yes. an excellent job. Thank I believe you very is this much. I only heard a rumor that this was your first interview. <laughs> ever. It is my first interview ever. Well, you seem like a jaded professional. Oh wow, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.